This event provides a unique opportunity for governments, for law enforcement and uh, the military to identify a global and coordinated response to the threat of IEDs. Unfortunately, we have become all too used to seeing reports of deaths and injuries caused by explosive devices. It is too easy to forget that behind the statistics there are innocent people being murdered or maimed on an almost daily basis as they go about their everyday lives. The use of IEDs is often linked to other forms of crime. No one can foresee the direction an investigation will take or the effect that even the smallest piece of information can have in bringing together seemingly unrelated individuals or events. This is where Interpol has a unique role in collating and sharing information to help our 190 member countries join the dots to create the bigger picture which would otherwise not be seen. Our database on foreign terrorist fighters, which currently contains some 5,000 entries, has already led to the circulation of more than 600 Interpol notices and warning messages on individuals manufacturing or using IEDs. Our stolen and lost travel document database has helped law enforcement around the world identify criminals and terrorists attempting to cross borders undetected. Our fingerprints database enabled the identification of a terrorist suspect wanted for murder jailed under false identity, as well as the conviction in May last year of a London taxi driver involved in the manufacture of IEDs targeting US forces in Iraq in 2007. I could go on with these examples. The point is, the more information is shared, the greater the chance of identifying terrorists and criminals and potentially stopping the next attack. And this is the important point, preventing attacks from taking place. If police do not have the intelligence they need, how can they be expected to protect the societies they serve? The number of experts and countries taking part in this important forum here in Canberra underlines the global recognition to address these issues and I'm sure this event will prove to be a significant step forward in our combined efforts for a safer world and I once again thank the Australian government for their great cooperation and a great partnership. Thank you very much.